JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Answering questions like always. All right. So this girl sent me a message today asking me, hey, Joe, what do you guys think about LinkedIn? I mean, as far as a, a web developer, should I be focused on LinkedIn? Should I try to create an account, update it, put the latest things of my resume in there? And I would say, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know any company that I know of. I mean, for me, myself, I've never gotten hired from, from LinkedIn. I've never gotten anything from LinkedIn. But I'm pretty sure that people do search my name and they, uh, they do search my information and they go through it. So, by the way, I'm, I'm over here cutting meat. I'm cooking. You know what I mean? But, yeah. So, basically... I would say, yeah, like, you know, go ahead, fix it up, clean it up. It's always good to have uh, something clean out there. You know, when I mean clean, I mean have the latest uh, things about yourself in there, like, you know, what jobs you worked at, uh, what skills you have, because in reality, you never know. You might apply for a company that actually looks into LinkedIn, and that could actually help you. You know, for me, uh, I've never had anybody ask me, hey, what's your LinkedIn at all, ever? So it's not a big deal for me. But at the same time, it's like you, you can't deny it. There's some companies that do use it. Uh, I just, for myself, I haven't had the opportunity to work at it. any company that really focuses on, on LinkedIn. But yeah, it's always good to have, you know, your latest uh, projects, whatever, uh, skills you have on, on LinkedIn also uh, make sure you have a github account people like to see that you know people like to see that you're part of the community if you have like a, a code pen you know create a couple of things on code pen uh, create a couple of things on that was a JS Ben you know just to show that you're actually part of the community you're creating new things out there you want to show that you're just not like somebody who's out here looking for a check you know what I mean I mean we all looking for a check but at the same time you want people to be like oh yeah she she's actually in the community she's actually taking her time to build websites she's actually taking her time to create new content uh, you know and practice her skills you know the one of the worst things that could happen is let's say an example you are a developer you've been working at a company but now you're fired, now you let, let go of that company, or whatever, you quit, right? Basically, the worst thing that could happen is you try to get a job, and basically you have nothing on your portfolio. Nothing on your portfolio, nothing online. People search for you, and they'll be like, wait, this guy says he's a, a, a developer, but nowhere online does it show that this person is part of the community does he make uh, websites does he make games does his, he practice whatever you know what I mean like it's always good to have your 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 content out there whatever you're working on it could be programming it could be design it could be anything whatever you do and you want people to know that you do that you do that thing even in your social media if you are a developer put that on your Instagram is web developer Put that on your Twitter, web developer. So people, when they search your name, it shows up like, okay, there's a developer. You know what I mean? And repeating myself, but yeah, definitely go go put it on. Go uh, go fix your your LinkedIn if you can. It's not a big deal if you can't can't really fix it or or add other stuff. Nobody's gonna hold you accountable for that. Nobody's going to be like, oh, my gosh, she don't have a LinkedIn. Personally, myself, I think LinkedIn is a waste of time. Uh, it's more for recruiters. It's good if you want recruiters to get your email and get your information. Then, yeah, go ahead, put it on LinkedIn, you know. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you check out the website, codingface.com. Make sure you subscribe to the video. Guys, I'm literally right now, I'm taking a break, but I'm starting today the jQuery course. For all those people that have been waiting to learn jQuery, the reason why I haven't done it because jQuery is so easy, I could probably knock it out in one whole day, literally. 
and everything that you need is just gonna be in that course and then of course I'm probably gonna come in and add an extra project to it because this is how I do my, my courses guys I come in explain whatever topic we're talking about right show you the basics of it and then from there I give you a project right sometimes if it's something more difficult like let's say um, like Laravel Laravel I started opposite way we basically started hitting the ground running by creating a, a, a project real quick and then from there my plan is to go in there and explain everything in depth because when you're dealing with something that's very big like Laravel you don't really or even Node.js I'm doing the same thing for Node.js it's like I'm giving you guys a project before I explain everything in, in depth you know because sometimes you want to come in and you want to start creating things and you're like man why is this so long why is this boring I'm not building anything so when it's a, a situation like that what I do is I start making you build something as soon as possible so like that you could uh, you know be entertained be be uh, you know happy that you're actually building something you know what I mean and then from there go in there into the more details later on all right so yeah today we started the jQuery kits and I'm still working on the Node.js, still knocking that out. We concluded the, the real estate. That's it. Real estate is done. For those of you guys that have been wanting to learn React and y'all been wanting to get your game up and on, on the five projects, guys, the real estate app is done. All right? So I'll see you guys later. Go to the website, codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. Yeah.